and welcome to the God is a Geek podcast. My name's Adam Cook, I'm your host, and I am joined by the one, the only, the Adam Carroll. Good evening. Hello, mate. That's, I mean, I went real high energy, and you just sort of went... Well, I'd like to kind of just go in easy first. Ah, uh, don't, Adam Cook, don't <laughs> bother. Fine. Mm-hmm. Speaking of going easy first, and there's two people left on this podcast this week, and you've seen them both if you're watching the video version. Going easy first. I think it's Christopher White. I do. <laughs> no no way denial. That. How are you, mate? Um, you you I'm, seem a little more high energy than Adam. Do you... I'm, I'm wonderful. Yeah. Good. 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 Well, well that, that only, I mean, it sounds like it's an awful way to introduce someone, but that just leaves Mick Fraser, doesn't it, really? Hi, Mick. Suck, motherfuckers. Yes, you see, <laughs> you see, that's the that's the energy you pay for. That's the energy that means you have to, when you do the ads on YouTube version of this, click foul language early on. <laughs> that's why you bring me on, isn't that's it? That's why you bring the Mick. You don't say bring the thunder with Mick, you say bring the Mick. Um, like taking the Mick. That's something, that's something similar to what Adam was saying, actually, more than... more than. Mm. Moving on. Um, it's been a big old week in games last week, as you're watching this, or if you listen to us on Patreon, then it's been a big week this week. Um, Xbox did their Xbox Game Showcase. And we're going to talk about that first before we get on to what games we've been playing and listener correspondence. So if you're an avid listener and expecting, oh, they normally talk about what they're playing first, not this time. Um, Chris and I, we had like, quite a lot to say about it. We, yep. we live streamed it, we talked over it. and um, yep. Which I want to say, we, we, by the way, I enjoyed. I, I know like, I'm speaking for that, but I like that. So I'm glad I, we're I doing these kind of I things. I enjoyed it. Thank you, um, Adam. It was really good. I will say I've had a little more time to ruminate and I have more thoughts, but people will probably have heard something of what Chris and I had to say. So, Adam, as someone who's you know come to the Xbox family of consoles rather late, yep. how do you feel about um, what you saw? Uh, okay, so obviously we knew that Halo Infinite was going to be kind of the big thing, I guess. We did, yes. Um, I'm still completely, straight off the bat, I don't know if I if I'm completely sold on this console. Uh, day one anyway um it's it was kind of like okay look the game I, I like the way it's just games 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 i'm like cool 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 um it had halo, to be though didn't it had to be it had to be yes um you know? halo infinite halo in general doesn't do anything for me um and i think infinite was just very on un- like it was underwhelming for me i i just Look, I'm not trying to be the party pooper, and I don't want to come in on a negative spin straight away. God, you're so negative. I <laughs> Terrible. But, uh, Terrible bastard. <laughs> it um, it di- it didn't do much for me. I thought like so. Okay, why do you why why do you hate Microsoft? Hey, you know, not getting paid. Um, he hates fucking puppies <laughs> and babies as well. I I feel like we'd moved beyond that though. To bring that back up is. To... <laughs> yeah but look let me let me just say here right so i get the excitement for halo and i get the halo fan base that's there right i just saw this and i went everything is just what i know of this game well I so, know- so, so <clears throat> the reason that is is that it's come out since that what this game is is not a sequel microsoft like doing this in fact a lot of companies do this now this is a spiritual reimagining which is why they've done all these kind of oh that looks like the original Halo because mm. it literally looked like the original Halo. I'm sorry, like the the, the approach of oh, are they I'm leaving like the sixth installment hanging because it didn't it finish on like a massive. Do you know banger? that's a damn fine point. Well, it I mean, I, I may have been misinformed, but I I read a, a someone that, that basically it's a spiritual reimagining. So I mean, because it ended on like into, Cortana you know, went too, evil, didn't she? Cortana was proper like the bad Spoiling guy. Spoiling it, Christ! At least give people a warning. <laughs> Well, uh, you but know, like, if you haven't played this... Halo Five at this point, what can I tell you? Can I... But this this links more into Halo Wars Two, doesn't it? Where they had the um, name of the bad guys that are in banished. The... Yeah, it seems yeah, that way. Look, I'm just going to say that, like, I watched it and I was kind of okay. Like, if if Halo fans are losing their minds to this, then cool, that's great. I'm I'm happy for you all. Um, but my thing was like, I played the first Halo, okay, and I just felt like this was kind of this again, like the look of the gun. And I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, I'm not a hook. I'm not a Halo fan here, as, as you can tell, um, but like the vehicle and stuff, I just I I know these main things, and it's just I don't I feel this this far gone into this into the franchise. I'm like, I don't know what they're supposed to do, but it wasn't selling me. And I thought I thought the demo was just like when it ended, I was like, really? I was like, that's 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 what they're that's what they're leaving us with, like just that. Because if I'm going to just quickly fast forward a small bit. Um, 
to a game that I'm not saying I'm like pumped for, but there was a game called Crossfire X. Was that what it was called? Yes, yeah. Okay. That's not a new game, but go on. The, the single well, player Whatever here. it is, right? It was shown, and I didn't know about this game before, and it showed gameplay. And I was like, God, now that looks like a good, exciting, cool shooting game, I guess, like first-person game. Like, I Halo thought it was just, better than Halo did, to That's honest. what I mean. Like, Halo's... And I am a fan. Yeah, like, especially showing us, like, a demo of this Halo Infinite, I was like wow, that's not really selling anything to me of excitement. Like, okay, you can go on about how it looks. It was nice, I guess. But, like, are we not supposed to expect this right now? Like, is that what's supposed to be the case with the new with the new system going forward? Which is why, like, overall, the general thing... I, I There's a part of me where I just feel a bit kind of... It's odd watching these things when it's not E3. And I think yeah. the, the the buzz of it is kind of like, okay, it's am I treating this like Dairy Tree like event in ways, I suppose. But like the titles that they were announcing, nothing really blew my mind. Like I kinda like Destiny Two, man. Like I am I'm, I'm sorry. That was the moment for me where they I I wanna say they lost me, but 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 Destiny Two. Destiny like, Two You you don't put that in this you don't. I'm so, especially with. I think the weirdness, the fact that Bungie like did everything to get away from Microsoft, mm. and have now done a deal with a, like they just they've gone from Activision essentially back to Microsoft. I mean, it's not exclusive, but it, it's not. And and the Ori and the Will of the Wisps one that, really that got kind me of because thing. like that game doesn't run that well. I didn't it think that was now. cool to show. By the way, like I like. That's the side of gaming that I'm just not like in into seeing developers come up with a game that just is pretty still it's it's still a new game pretty much yeah, like yeah, yeah. and they're showing like how, how they can make it better and frame rate already and you're like oh what I'm like but okay, also like get... it's a weird comparison to show because they showed mm. the side by side of it yeah but you are no no way you were watching on a d- device that could display the 120 hertz mm. on the right mm. yeah they're. Like other other titles that they announce, I don't know. Like, like, what's that? Is is what's that kind of horror one they showed? It got announced already. What state of the K three? The, oh, the medium. Yeah, the that medium. was the one me and Chris on on on, on the stream were like. I, I was sure we'd seen that before. That it was, was a condensed before, version yeah. of that that trailer. Yeah. I think I'm up for that. Obviously, it looks great. It's, it's a given. But you say this, that, but it's yeah, by Bluebird Team, and like they are hey, hit mate, and miss. Blair, Blair Witch yeah, was phenomenal, wasn't it? I'm telling you being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, it's, an, it's an audio podcast as well, and I'm furrowing my brow while... Uh, yeah. Yes. Um, okay, so we got the medium. Um, we also had the new Don't Nod game, which... Uh, but that was previously like, announced. Was it? Yeah, ages ago. That was announced, I think, last Jesus. year. Um, what about that's, Avowed? That, Avowed was new. Because that's set in the Pillars of Eternity universe. Mm, yeah, but that. it's it's first person, isn't it? It's like a first yeah, person, yeah, yeah. like Skyrim too, to me. Yeah, like, well, it's like that... the other. Yeah, it's like the Outer Worlds meets Pillars of Eternity, and, and I've got absolute hundred percent faith in pretty much everything Obsidian do. So, mm. right. But the thing is, is what I was hoping, and, and I'm, I'm obviously mistaken because we've played games. Well, not not that have been made since Microsoft have been in charge. But what I was kind of hoping would happen with Obsidian is that they would get this massive first party publisher that would go make the game of your dreams and that's what they're saying but it seems i guess i don't want to be mr negative but it seems to me so far that the, their dreams were kind of to make another one of the games they o- o- always make mm. like it really to me looked like like skyrim 2 that there's your thing and there's your magic in this and, and and again that's oh. that's cool and, and 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 i like the developer i mean they're yeah. responsible for making south park games good you know so mm. they will always have you know my heart um <sighs> Just, I mean, Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts 2. But that is not yeah. an exclusive oh, game. Listen, coming to PS4. Psychonauts 2 and that Jack Black song. Oh, that was... Piss off. Oh. It was... What? Like, n- no. No interest. Oh, come on! No. No wow. interest whatsoever. I am so not there. I am... I'm just... I'm just... <laughs> I, I'm just done with the... With with those... those his tunes. I'm done with his tunes. I don't like Tenacious D. I'm sorry. The last I'm album saying. was poor. I will agree. Yeah, I just, I just, I just don't find it. It's so just no, no. And I just felt like the showing the performance of him recording, and I was like, look, I'm not here to see this. I'm here to see Psychonauts too. If you're going to show it, which, which looks good, did. I show bits and bobs. Um, I'll 
probably play it. Um, I definitely will. I was very happy, even though we saw nothing of it. I'm up for Fable. Fable was the one bit that got me smiling. That was the first time I actually smiled. Yep. So I that that I, to me, that was where I was like, okay, no. Yeah. That's what that's that's kind I of watched, the thing I was waiting for. Yeah. As soon as like, I saw that little possible. that little fairy fly in, I thought this is this is fable. Here fable, we go. Yeah. And I I wasn't expecting gameplay we didn't get, I wasn't expecting anything like that, no, that but I knew they were that just games are two years away. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, I know. But I, I but but I, 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 did you not? Were you not concerned by the art choice of art style, Mick? Because as someone who likes to get, it, it, it didn't look that. It looked that cartoony. Style, what it looked like trying. It looked like a trying it looked thing. Like trying. Yeah. So there's rumours no, that this no. is an MMO, by the way. Have you heard? Yeah, this? I've heard that. I've heard those rumours. I don't think yeah. It is. I hope not, because I can't see how that. But well, although I say that, but I mean the whole world of Fable. It's Fable. Fable. Who the fuck's Fable? The whole bloody, world. Of, yeah. Whole world of Fable is kind of it's built on the whole like there's lots of heroes and there's like I mean yeah. the world is you know you can be whatever you want to be you can do jobs and have a house I mean it's kind of like an MMO with that, like Skyrim was, you know, I mean, Elder Scrolls was kind of a no brainer. The Elder if, Scrolls online. But right. If, if this is an MMO. Yeah. Okay. My concern would be that Xbox have learned nothing. Okay. Well, well, this is going to sound like we're all being negative. There will be positives. I've got a massive positive coming up, but this to, to me, this says they've learned nothing because if anything else, the sales of video games have proven that people love Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima, God of War, yeah, yeah. Horizon Zero. They love single-player games. So to take a game like Fablay, which is, you know, Peter Molyneux at Fablay, or Fable to, you know, people who don't speak French, to take that game and bring it back to make it an online game is like, are you fucking out of your mind? Yeah. If they go down the games with the service line or the MMO line, game, I mean, you no. Know, and, and I agree completely because... Fa- so I mean, how many more chances do you want with Fable? Well, yeah, like, exactly. You, you had your, you had your base games, and they tried the Connect game. They tried the what was that game? Oh, yeah, they did. That they can. Oh, they tried the card battling the game. The card battling thing. game they tried, but there was a third. But the one that they can. Little like, dudes, um, the little. Oh yeah, there was the, the Fable one. Legends. Yeah, Legends. Fable Legends. Like, I played it. Had with, um, that many cracks it. People yeah. want Fable. They want Fable Two again. Everybody yeah. just wants it to be yeah. that good again, as good as Fable Two was. But I mean, and now, I mean, you imagine what we can do with we. I come a developer, like what we can do. Of course, but you are. imagine. I've seen your but, development. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't talk about. But no, but you, you see what we can do with games nowadays, and to take something like the or the, the ideas that Fable had. Because it's famous, isn't it? Peter Molyneux is famous for just basically being a big old bullshitter and all these things that he promised for years and years with Fable. Because I remember reading an article before Fable came out and all these things that it promised were just out of this world at the time and absolutely beyond anything we'd ever seen. Then it came out and it didn't do hardly any of them. Um, and then the sequel did the same and the third one did the same. But I have stories about that man that one day I'll tell, but it's not today <laughs> and it's not on but, a podcast. <laughs> But we, have, but we now have the capability to do all those things that he promised to do with the first Fable and lots more. So now, a full-fledged Fable game now, or two years from now, on the next generation of fucking consoles, should be, it should blow your head off. It should be spectacular. So, there's, there's two schools of thought here, right? Because I've seen, I've seen very much two, two schools of thought. One is the kind of a lot of people, and a lot of people watching our stream will be sort of disappointed or underwhelmed, perhaps, is the, is the right way of putting it. Um, the other school of thought is none of it matters because these are every single one of these games is Game Pass, hmm. which everyone has, so it doesn't matter. But that's but that's I, not I, right. I don't no, agree I know, with this that. This is what I'm getting to. I agree with you here in that I, I understand that mentality, but but I've had this 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 theory about Game Pass for a long time. Game Pass yeah, ain't it's, free, it's, man. It's still... No, it ain't. But, but I think people download all the games that come to Game Pass. My my question would be is how many people that download all these games play them. All the way through, oh, yeah, and at yeah. what point does that sunk cost on development become a liability? Because it's really abundantly clear now, to me anyway, that they do not care about you buying a Series X. They've it was weird at first when it's like, oh, well, if you want to play Halo, two years, two years time, you won't. Don't worry about it. Halo's going to be on Xbox One. It's no problem. All these games you can play on Xbox One as well. And it was at the time that you're like. Do you want us to buy it? And then Sony literally come out saying these games are PS5 games, and you're like, yeah, that's that's the the console cycle. Xbox don't care about any of us buying an Xbox Series X. They don't care if we buy one. They I don't think they care if you've a got a console. console. Yeah, I mean, if you if they you've got a PC, Netflix. you do not need. No, but it's not it's Xbox. not even that for me. This is them. They are now, and people have sort of said, oh, it's like the Netflix of games. That's exactly what it yeah. is, especially Netflix with XCloud coming. 
Well, that's it. But Netflix get all these 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 um you know you can watch South Park on Netflix, whatever. But then they spend all this obscene amount of money making Stranger Things, making BoJack Horseman. Um, uh, what is it? F is for, N is for neighbor or whatever it is. I haven't seen it. But, you know that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. That's their premium content done by, if you like, their in-house studios. That is, you know, BoJack, Stranger Things. That is their. Well, we have Rare. We have. Um, we have 343 that's them doing that they have gone completely now into that they don't care and i think this is i think this actually means that the xbox series x a lot of people thought it was going to be the cheaper console i think it actually means it could be the more expensive one yeah i think they can throw 600 pound down as a fee and say well look it's the most powerful console it's basically a pc a high-end pc and and people will go oh but that's too expensive and they go hey don't it's fine Play it via XCloud. Play it via Xbox One X. Play it on XCloud on your on your iPhone, and and they can say that because it's true. Because it doesn't matter. The boxes are still there to buy if you want to buy them, and then they will sell them, and they'll eventually get cheaper and cheaper. But they don't need you to buy a console. They don't really care if you buy a console because you already have. Every one of us here has Game Pass. Is going to keep Game Pass because it is tremendous value whether you like it or not and to me i can see them bringing in more and more of these third parties like they have been and they do this a regular thing you know how many times on twitter is it once a week they say isn't you know the yakuza games uh, yakuza kiwami coming to game pass carry on game pass you know all these games we're reviewing and it's like like carry on for example which we'll talk about like that game the review embargo is 3 p.m but it released early on xbox game pass so it's just like well it's already out you know they're third party games and then on top of that you get your gears your halo your your, your state of the k3 um which you're still paying no extra for i guess which you're paying no extra for and they are the sunk cost is that the, and, and do you remember as well when they did that thing where you could get upgrade for a pound and it, you could it stacked and at the mm. time everyone was like shit quickly do this do this mm. and they were like no no don't yeah do it they were actually like yeah retweeting like yeah do it because once you're in that ecosystem Who's going to let their Xbox Live Game Pass lapse? It kind of makes you laugh about when... I mean, it's it's not even like the next generation is going to be Microsoft versus Sony anymore. I know it still it's still is because... They it, are completely but it's, different it's, a complete, now. it's almost a completely different market now. So they all are. the people that are still on Twitter waving the placards going, we're done with Xbox, done with Sony. Yeah. They're complete fucking idiots, I'm sorry, but... And you can leave that in because I'll fucking well, I'll find them. Going but it's, <laughs> but it's that is is absolutely bonkers now because it's just like they are just, not even in the same ballpark anymore. Yeah, Xbox exactly. don't mind if you don't. Be, Xbox are fine if you go and buy a PS5. Yeah, because you still will have Game Pass. And if you, I mean, I, I don't I saw need someone one. On Twitter, Mick. Sorry, I don't mean to no, cut you. I saw no, someone no, on Twitter no. where I literally saw someone. Um, a friend of the site, I think it was, who, who what was uh, answered the question someone had posed. Um, are you willing to give up, say, Horizon... I've forgotten the name of it. What's the sequel? Forgotten West. Forgotten West. Forbidden West. Are you willing West. to give up that? For- Forbidden God of West. War 2, uh, Uncharted 5, or whatever, down the line, Ratchet. Are you willing to give that up in to keep Game Pass? And they were like, yeah, Game Pass is incredible. Because... Uh, 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 yeah, but the thing is, Ad, you're shaking your head, but like we would... We, yeah, I we, wouldn't we, either. Have, no, I wouldn't, but we're going to have both, aren't we? Yeah. So, well, well, yeah, but I mean, I if, if somebody put a gun to my head... Can you hear me all right? Because my mic's on red. If, if someone put a gun to my head and said pick, I'd still pick Sony for the exclusives. I would, if I, if I, because I don't want to live without Horizon. Then, and, yeah, the, and, the idea you know of I mean? a world where I don't play like, the sequel to Horizon is not one I Exactly. Can, and I mean, because in my, in my opinion, but for a long time now, Sony have, have carried that torch. For a long time. Like, over... over Microsoft. Microsoft exclusives began to fizzle out, well, for me personally. I mean, I still like the Gears series. I still, I liked Halo 4 a bit. I quite liked Halo 5. Halo Infinite, I'm with Adam on this one. I thought I was completely underwhelmed by what they showed. Um, But I I am a fan of the franchise. I love Halo. I love the story and, and all that stuff. But I would, if you'd ever, like a couple of years ago, if you'd have said, right, you can either play Horizon Zero Dawn or Halo 5 or whatever, they, whatever came out at the same time, I'd have picked the Sony straight away. I wouldn't have looked back. So let's, let's, let's we, we, we'll have more to say about this, I think. But let's, um, let, we, we did it with the, the Sony thing. We've got to score it. Um, I'll start. Six out of ten. Uh, and that is because I was left with more questions than answers. Halo Infinite, I think, looks the shit, and I am so up for that. It has been long enough for me that Halo has been away that I am 
<laughs> I've gone from someone who, when it was, I was not interested in Halo when it first was around, to loving it now. I, I really enjoyed Five. The multiplayer is superb. For my only concern is that they have had two cracks at it. We said this on the stream. They had, they've had two cracks at Halo, whereas Gears had Gears Four, and then, and this is our Gears now Five. Um, but I am so up for Halo. Fable, I've, it's fine. I've never really understood the sort of adoration for it. Um, State of Decay Three, that that actually annoyed me because. The the suggestion from that trailer makes it look as if they are ditching the kind of way they do State of Decay and making an almost Last of Us or you know Resident Evil style game. And I I I, I want I'd lo- I'd love that. I'd love it if they were now were making a single player game. No way. They always wanted to make this massive MMO, and I said I guess that's what this is going to be now. I'd be happy um, if it so runs smoother than a fucking PowerPoint. To be honest, and and that's another <laughs> another very thing. Like you know, Microsoft need to stop becoming the kind of Ubisoft of the the major first parties where they, they release a game and fix it later. Like State of Decay took a long time. They got there. Because um, I love State of the Decay, Wisps. but yeah. they're hard going games when they were launched. They are. So it's for me six. Chris White six. I have to okay. say, I, I, there was nothing other than Halo um, Avowed and Psychonauts, I think. Yeah, I can't, I can't even remember it, to... man. Oh, um, Grounded looked good. Mm. Yeah, but that's out next week. Well, that's out this week, as we record. Oh, yeah, wait. 28th, no, isn't not it? Grounded. Everwild. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everwild yeah. looks beautiful. Yeah. That, that looks looked really good. Um, Is she Irish as well? <clears throat> That voice really bugged me because I know that voice from somewhere. She and was I don't, definitely I, Irish, I think. Could have been. Her, na- her name as well. I can't remember. No, but it seems Irish. Mm. Anyway, that's completely. Yeah. No. <laughs> other than that, other than that, not nothing took me fancy. Okay, I'd stick with you. What? What? Um. Where are you? Um. I'm gonna have to say I'm giving it a three. Um. Oh. It's it, it, it not like it's been a while since I've watched something like that, and the next day I just like didn't think about it. Right. Like, I, and that was the way I felt I, like all day today I just nothing has cropped into my mind at all and I've been like oh cool as I said Fable was the thing that was like oh right cool and I've played all the Fables but it's not that I've been craving a Fable game but it just seemed kind of like that feeling of oh cool do you know like and you gotta take into account like as you just mentioned a while ago at like throughout it that Xbox pr- pr- showcase whatever like Destiny 2 appeared and I'm like God's sake, I'm like, no, no, like, no disrespect to Destiny 2 and the fan base, but I was just like, oh, okay. And there was a lot of that, and I think there was a lot of games that were being shown or announced that I felt like, I don't really know what it is, but they give you, like, what, 10 seconds of it, and you've kind of gone, all right, like, as we're saying, that Skyrim S kind of thing. But for all we know, it mightn't be that at all, you know, just because I had a sword and a hand with power, but I just, you know, there was nothing really, nothing at all really stood out for me. Like, yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, just... I you know I probably should say this off the cast, but just for the record, the, the Sony deal expired a couple of weeks ago, so you, you, know, you can <laughs> you can like Xbox again now. It's all right. Yeah. Uh, no, so I just si- a six like or the six Game or three. Pass, yeah, the, I, like, with all of it being on Game Pass too, I'm like, all right, cool. But like as you said, like how many people are going to play these games? And there's just moments of like, it just. I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 a weird it's a weird thing. Nick. Uh, I don't know. I think I think I would go probably about about five and a half. I think I tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you why. It was it was slightly over average. But this is the thing, right? Here's this is this is how I, I base this. After the Sony conference, we came in here about well, the next day to do the podcast. And my cup fucking overfloweth, right? And I'm not a Sony fanboy. I always had Xbox first. I always went Microsoft first when I, when I could only afford the one console when I was younger and stuff. And always been a big fan of both. But the Sony conference or the Sony reveal, I sat there, I watched that, and I came out of it, and I was like buzzing with all these games like I wanted to talk about. I couldn't wait to talk about Still can't wait to play them. We sat... Whoa, not that over. We sat here on the, the podcast the next day, and I had something to say about everything. You know, everything stuck in my mind. Came away from the Xbox One, and like Adam said, I just, I, I went to work, and and you know, one of the guys said, "Did you watch it?" And I said, "You know, what? I, I think I watched it." And I, you know, I, or did because it just nothing yeah, stuck it was... in my mind. I thought Halo Infinite looked. I'll play it. 
and I'm sure that when when it's in my hands and it's in motion, it'll be that same old Halo. Halo. I mean, people talk about Destiny's gunplay, and you can say what you like. I'm a Destiny fan. I am, but I love the way Destiny feels. But Destiny feels like that because Halo felt the way it did. Right. That's how I look at it. Like that's very much a, from that. Uh, an evolution, or, well, maybe not an evolution, that's wrong, but you, it's cross-pollination, I guess. So the gunplay in Halo always feels tremendous, always fantastic. So I'm looking forward to playing it, and I will play it. And it's on Game Pass, which I've got, so why wouldn't I play it? Why wouldn't everyone play it? But I didn't I didn't sit there and think, Jesus, this looks fucking brilliant. Like, when I watched the trailer for Horizon Forbidden West, I was just fucking jaw was on the floor for the whole yeah. the whole trailer, and I and and I'm still thinking about waiting but to one, get on. One was CG, one was game, or was in, well, in okay, one was game. Okay, it was, but I still I guess it's just yeah, the feeling. I okay, so I, yeah, regardless of that, and and I and I still think I said to you, I think afterwards, I kind of felt like in you know, Halo Infinite, they, it looked like there were textures missing or so. It didn't look. There's been a lot since, um, and I'm hesitant to talk about it here because this is recorded in advance and by the time this comes out mm. but there does seem to be some weirdness like people were, i saw t- i saw shots that were showing like halo 3 on pc against yeah. this and it's like it seemed to be a more textured gun but i mean it's in progress isn't it it's probably a way away so i'm not going to knock it i'm not you know no. i'm not so we know it's going to look yeah, good but it can't fucking be we know much that in progress because like it's not that far off no, I guess. But I don't know. I mean, either way, I, I, I watched Halo and I thought, wow, this looks like more Halo. And I quite liked the fact that it looked like Halo Combat Evolved again. I quite liked the, the, the way it looked and the way it yeah. felt. I wasn't overly thrilled about the the bad guys and, and what, what the story was. And I was a bit pissed off that we weren't seeing a follow-on from Halo 5, which annoys me in a way because the halo continuity in the games has always pissed me off because if you haven't read the books and the comics and blah 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 you don't know what the fuck's going on anyway but so i wasn't i wasn't really that thrilled and i thought grounded looked good but we'll you know we'll be able to play that next week I mean, by the time um, we do on this podcast next yeah week. and uh yeah I've, un, is it unavowed is that what it's called just avowed. avowed just avowed that i think you know, that looks all right, I thought you know that's Obsidian. It'll be good, and I was excited for Fable. But beyond that, I mean, they showed DLC for the Outer Worlds. Mm. Yeah, it's it kind of like it felt like they were just pulling this all together. Like, oh, we need to we need to pump the games full of but games. Is, like, this, is this them cocking up again? Because I felt like what I was tuning in for was a, a not so much as this is why you need a Series X, but at least yeah. these are the games. Coming to Series X, and what yeah, they... all I saw was you don't need to buy this if you've got yeah, a Game yeah. Pass and, and an again, Xbox think, One. Carry on. Fine with that. I think they probably fine. are, but they fucking. I don't feel like they should be. I don't feel like they should be fine with that. I feel like they the should be is, doing something to sell this new console properly. We don't know. We, we, you know, the future. You know, will history will tell us, won't it? Oh well, yeah, I guess. But I, I mean, yeah. But we might look back in in a few years and say, well, they were right. You know, they you know they trounced Sony and all that. And but that's still not the point. <laughs> I still I still no. want to see something that makes me go. Yeah, there's know, a reason to buy our new console. Well, I don't feel like let's, that. Let's talk about some games then. Adam Carroll, what have you been playing this past week? I have been playing Ghost of Tsushima. Ah, the photo uh, mode game. The photo mode game, which I haven't even touched. By the way, I, I'm nope, just having your photo mode. But uh, yeah, so I've put in. A fair chunk of time into the game so far, and I'm still in Act One. Absolutely the same. <laughs> I, I'm like, wow! Like, I have so... never known a game as addictive yet aimless. Like, mm. I two hours, I've done nothing. Mm. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing: there are parts of the game that, like, when it gets going, I am fully like, yeah. I'm up for this. The second I boot it up every time and I'm in control, I'm like, oh, yay, I'm up for this now again. Good old few hours of this. And then it starts like doing this thing where I feel it just kind of starts to bore me and then it doesn't. And then it does again. <laughs> and then it does. It's it's really it's really strange. Like I'll get to the I'll get to camps, I'll get to the combat and stuff, and like it's really enjoyable. The fighting when you get past the auto lock thing, um, which is non-existent. When, um, when you say about like it gets you, then you lose you, then it gets. Do you find when you stop playing, it's more of a, well, I guess I should, uh, I guess I should stop now, really. But there's no, like with, with the Last of Us, I found it was like, and it's really unfair to compare. But with the Last of Us, it's like shit. I, I don't want to stop. Uh, I got mm. to. Whereas in this, I'm like, 
Eh, I, I should probably well, stop. I've had an hour and a half. I should probably stop this now. Any any of the bits that are like... Uh, like, any of the combat bits and stuff. Like, when that gets going, I feel it just ends too fast for me. And it's like, oh, I've been really excited for this now. And here we go and fight a group of lads. And then it's kind of over. Like, the, the standoff stuff is... That's what it's called, yeah? So, yeah. Yeah, standoff stuff is... My favourite part. Oh, I like, just upgraded that so I can do three people at once. I think every time that, that, that gives me the option to do it, I'm just like, yep, yeah, like, I'm doing that. Same. Because, like, the stealth... Like, obviously, this is, this is like... I don't know if you could be... If you go into spoilers with us, if you start talking about why stealth is kind of like... It's kind of not... No, I mean, it's you called Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, you, like yeah the but you it's shouldn't ghost really is be you're... stealthing, but you can. Like, obviously, you totally But can. there's like a whole page of skills related just yeah. to the ghost part. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I want to do any stealthing ever. Like, I'm just always... Like, I like I just... the combat too much. Combat's really good. It definitely could do with a lock on. It just could. Like, I... <laughs> It just. Do you, do you really think? Because I've I've grown to not m- not notice that, and and I found that I think the reason I I'm wanted saying, that is because yeah. I'm so used to yeah. Souls games having that that I expect to. Click I didn't right even stick. notice. I didn't even notice that it didn't have one. If you know what I mean, I was I... just playing. It was only when I started seeing people on Twitter saying, "Where's the lock on?" Mm. And then I started to think, "Well, actually, yeah, I could do with a lock on." But have you upgraded your gin? Because I found that I care less. So now, um, it's not really spoilery. You know, you can look in the menu and see the skills. So, so there's. Chris, what what are those? You know when you do like the, the, the special stories that you, you mentioned them the other week on the podcast, where they're like they're black Myth, and white mythic images, tales. mythic so, tales. So I did one of those involving a a technique yep. that involves lightning. Yeah, I did too. It was brilliant. Okay, um, really important one actually. It's really useful. Um, so I now am at the point where when you do a standoff, I can do three instant kills, and then because I've got that. Uh, I forget what it's called, but that let's just call it lightning based, not based lightning style attack. Mm-hmm. Um, I find that now I can. I mean, that almost clears out. <clears throat> that's four people straight away. But also, smoke bombs. Have you got smoke bombs? Yeah, I think they're a game changer. Yeah, they're really like. Look, there's no denying like the what 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 the game offers you to mm-hmm. unlock. Is all great. Like, I, I looked through all the skill tree stuff and I was like, oh, I can't wait to get that and that and that, whatever, right? And I'm sure it's going to be all amazing when I do get it. Um, And, like, I really have to say, like, I am, I am enjoying the game, but, like, just to go back onto the lock-on thing for a second, it it's not that, like, it makes the game, uh, like, uh, rubbish in any way as such, you know? I just want a lock-on because I feel if I did, it would make all the action set pieces feel that little bit cooler like i i I don't know like if you if you take the likes of batman or something right there isn't there isn't a lock on is there either way so so batman's a great comparison for me because i feel like if you had a lock on in batman and if you had a lock on in ghost of tsushima you would get so many hits on you because you wouldn't be able to react quickly to so the the whole thing for me of this game that i've got good at now is with I've, i've got three of the stances yeah. Um. One is for swords. One's against shield people. Mm. One is against um, spears. I'm I'm trying to work out what the next one would be, but I'm, I can guess. Um, and I now you, know, you switch between now I, the language of the the game I have it down with the controller. Like the 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 great fun for me. I love. I really love the combat in this game actually, and I love that you can. If you'd locked on, so when you get like deep in, and I know Mick Fraser will be nodding at this. Um, I don't know why I said Mick Fraser. You're the only Mick here, but Mick. Um, when you get like really into a Souls game, you don't lock on anymore. Mm. Like if you want an easier or better time with a boss in a Souls game, some of them you do, but generally, yeah, you don't usually lock on. you don't lock on. No. You don't lock on. They're too big. It fucks the camera up, and FromSoft cameras are terrible. In a similar way, if I had locked on to an enemy in front of me. And then I could see, as, and he's a, a sword guy, and then I see a shielded guy or, a, or a, a lance guy behind me, I feel like it would be an additional kind of either unlock or change who I'm locked on, and then it might go to the wrong person, and all of a sudden I'm taking damage. Whereas, without being locked on, I can um, get out of the way with circle or just turn around R2, X, and I'm using the sword, you know, I, I'm doing a different stance. So I I don't know I don't know how much you've played though Ad like because it's difficult because you say you're in Act One but you could have played twenty hours. So yeah, so obviously like I just keep going along and I get distracted by something like a fox or something uh, yeah. and off we go. 
like, how do you feel about those bits like, do, um, do, they're okay they're fine yeah. they're, they're exactly the kind of thing I like in these games where it's what just what about checklist. the bamboo ones yeah I've only done like a few of them they were a bit oh, strange I love them yeah. I love them that real quick um, time event yeah so like there's small things like that, that but like I like so here's here's the thing as well, right? And I don't know if this is just me, right? I find the the colours weird. I find the colour palette of this game very strange and I think it gets like dark way too quickly. Like the game is quite dark at really? times. Yeah, I like I haven't noticed it. There was mo- there was there was moments where I swear to God, there's like one area in particular I went to and it just looked like I was in like the world of the witness game. Okay. Like it was so bizarre. Like, oh. and I, I, it's not to say like I'm not. I like what I like the aesthetic for the most part, but like there's some things that like I'm like why why is this not perfected a bit better? Because if you think about it, like Sucker Punch's last game was Infamous Second Son. Well, I unless you count the DLC, I guess. But um, it was Second Son, which was pretty much a PS4 launch title. Yeah, it was right? very early on. This is the, no, which is kind of weird to say, like, but this is kind of their the closing of the yeah. PS4. Yeah. And they've got it again, you know. I think there's moments in the game where I'm like, it, it could have done with a bit more polish. And I'm no, I know there's the thing going around of like, oh, once you get into the fact it's a game, it's a video game, game. I, I'm like, I, I, I don't need to do that. I just wish it had a bit more life in certain areas like when you have an interaction with an npc why does it do that really like poor like zooming out camera and they're just both stiff like this just talk to you and you don't get to see any animations or whatsoever whatsoever with them it's just like it's kind of like just showing a, a zoom out version of the environment you're in and you see like other npcs doing weird things like just walking back around the place and it kind of does that old style assassin's creed thing there's and... definitely design about this game that is sort of old yeah, and it's it, it, it's it's just the stealth weird. alone is not. Yeah. yeah, like I think even like going underneath like floorboards and underneath the. See, stuff, I never like, do that. I never do that. I always I stand mean, off and then have them. It's really strange though. Like I'm just like yeah, Usually I get what this is for, but I feel like I'm not supposed to be doing. It's I don't feel like I should be doing this with this game. I feel like I just want to be an unreal samurai. I want to be taking down guys, like having amazing sword fights, like, and it it does that. I'm sh- look, I still have loads more to go because I'm clearly only on Act One still. Like, Will you, know, you keep going? Uh, oh yeah, uh, because like, I, I I worry the story is is just. I, I'm going to be honest, the story is not doing it for me. Well, I just I I do get a bit of a chuckle every time like there's like a cutscene and then like when shit is getting serious in conversation, you get the. Pen flute oh, kind of thing coming in, you go right. We're talking business now. Here we go, and um, like I've done one too many following a character somewhere. Yeah, I've just done one too many yeah. of them at such an early stage of the game, and I'm just like, oh, come on, and like uh, it's like when you run, they run, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, at least that is a thing, and you're not forced to walk. I suppose I've had a glitch where I've had to exit out and start up again. Okay. I got caught in between a rock, and he just started vibrating like crazy, <laughs> um, and so. Yeah, and some occasions when I do a standoff, I've had like debris or a tree or something in my view, and I can't okay. see it. Um, You've had some bad luck. I never. Had... I've had some bad luck. <sighs> to me, occasions. it's the story that's the problem. Like I, I you say about the do do do, and then there's a cutscene. I had this the other day, right? It went to a cutscene, and I've been playing for about an hour and a half, two hours. I was like, oh shit, yeah, I'm mm. supposed to be saving my uncle. I forgot all I got about this guy. I should probably do, but I don't want to because it's not. It's not. I mean, and I think I've I've heard it gets like Chris. Your review, I think you said that it gets much better as you go in. Um, yeah. So I, 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 I'm I just sure, wonder how long it is. I'm sure it's going to be. I'm sh- like I'm 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 really I am enjoying this game. Like yes. this is kind of my kind of game. Do you know? Yeah. Um, it's just like it's just there's just a few things that I wish there were just kind of improved upon really especially the time like because like it's weird to kind of play the game now no knowing exactly what it is when when it was building up i was kind of like, oh, god i wonder what this game will be i'd say it'll be like just super deep and stuff like that but like if i take shadow of war yeah shadow of war oh, i always have to think about those two games uh which one i love the most but uh if i take shadow of war 
I prefer everything that that game does. And that's not because of the Lord of the Rings aesthetic. It's just like it does a lot of similar things. I should really but... play that game again and give it another go. Chris, should It's me? worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't dislike it. Sure. It was just another one of those games, a bit like this one, where I felt like this is going to be so many hours, and it is. It's fifty mm. plus, isn't it? But the I love story, the story. Is like ten to twelve hours. The main story of Ghost or Shadow. Ghost. That's so Ghost. Funny. You see, because obviously I, played, I, 10 hours. I <laughs> played in a different kind of yeah way yeah. to you, where I played you were obviously reviewing constantly it, playing yeah. through it. So I, get, I completely get what you're saying, and I think mm. that is what will happen for most people. But if you're just playing it constantly. It mm. makes a lot more sense and it plays a lot yeah, better. I've seen people say 30, 40 hours. I've seen a few people say that on Twitter. But you I guess what? these are people who are going for the 100%. And, and yeah, I mean, I, I spent, I probably spent about 40, 40 to 50 hours, but I played most of that after I finished the main story. Yeah. 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 Like doing all that, the mythic tales and um, like the territory, clearing out the territories and all that sort of stuff. And there's mm. stuff you do afterwards. So, but yeah, no, it's, yeah, I get what you're saying, man. Like, I'm going to go, like, I will go for the platinum on this game. It's it's just that kind of game. But, like, I can't, <laughs> I can't just not sit back and be like, oh, it's amazing. Do you know, I have to go, like, okay, yeah. look, there's these things. Because I've played many of these, so many of these types of games that it's just unusual to see a game near the end of this, this cycle of console. And you're kind of going, okay, right, okay, this could probably have come out earlier on, maybe, and I could probably look at it a bit differently. It's just yeah. because of the way games are going on and they're, they're just all improving so so differently, so fast, you know. Um, I will say, however, um, and only you'll get this or anyone who has played it, the opening of when the title comes up and it says mm-hmm. Sucker Punch presents that moment is unreal. Like, that felt amazing. I thought when it just shows you the, what you're going into and the music and stuff was all great. Um, yeah, it's cool. And I, I, I like I like the character. I think, I think... Yeah. He's pretty. He's pretty cool. Like well, I know, know. I mean, I know you're playing Paper Mario, but we'll check in next week on that because I know you haven't played too much of it. And um, yeah. I, I want to play a bit more Carry On before Carry On, Carry On before we do it. And we've also got Carry On. We've got a lot of listener correspondence. So should we just jump into it because we spent a lot of time talking about right. games anyway? Um, and we'll start with you, Mick. It's okay. the Geek Street Annual Cosplay Show. <laughs> what do you go as? I'm. Th- hang on. I'm thinking Adam Cook could be a good Mister Incredible. Well, I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, I think that's. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go with that. That's a I mean, crazy I mean, it immediately Kitana from Mortal Kombat comes to mind. I think oh, I'd make, baby. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd Me, make a fantastic. No, well, either. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll I'll take Jade. You take Kitana, and we'll uh, we'll oh, yeah. wow them. We'll be, we'll turn heads for sure. No, I don't know. I I tell you what, I love cosplay. I do, and I know, and I don't mean that in a pervy way because there's a real pervy side of it. And I but you also I, mean it in a pervy way. Well, yeah, I'm partial to a bit of Tifa Lockhart cosplay. I'll be dead honest with you. Um, but no, I like. I tell you what, I like about cosplay the the dedication that these that people have. I mean, the, the, and I mean the people who like you. Watch, you see some of the Monster Hunter cosplays, for example. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ, some of these things that must have taken them absolutely fucking months to make yeah. and crap. And there is a, a, a massive amount of artistry to it. There, there is genuinely. So yeah. I like, I do, I think I've got a massive respect for cosplayers. Not not so much people who sort of, I don't know, they cosplay, I don't know, Mary Jane from Spider-Man and they're just wearing little, little tight jeans and a Spider-Man t-shirt. That's not, no, that's not, that's not MJ from Spider-Man, but I, you know, the cosplay. So I, yeah, I think it's, it's impressive stuff. I couldn't do it. I think I'm just, I'm just too bulky to pretend to be anybody. I think I'll probably okay. cosplay, maybe Shrek. I could probably do a Shrek if I had a shave, <laughs> lathered up in green. Um, well, let's, let's make it easier then. Is anyone, does anyone have something they think they could, someone they could cosplay as? Um, no, I, because I, I'm the same. I don't have the correct <laughs> shape to pull off any kind of character, apart from fat characters. And I don't. Yeah, really I mean, I'm it. I'm a big guy, you know. It'd be hard for me to. I, 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 I'd like cheat to, to make uh, Nathan Drake large. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. there? I'll be yeah, fat yeah, Nathan fat Drake. Drake I think fat Nathan yeah. Drake. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Um, three of them. All three of us. <laughs> <laughs> All Drake. I'd like to be Joel. To... That's yeah, right. you could pull. Yeah, Joel yeah. Do a bit of Joel. Got the I darkness of... in the eyes. That the, the, they've seen <laughs> some shit. Sort of look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got you'd the, have to trim the beard back a bit, though. I know. Yeah, that that that, 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 that would, I'd actually wouldn't like that. Yeah, you'd have to oh. trim your beard back a bit to play somebody in the apocalypse. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Adam's like <laughs> Samson as well. If you if you shave the beard back, he loses his power. Is it Samson? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, your let's beard is wilder than an apocalypse. <laughs> um, Chris White, you get the DeLorean for a day. What period do you visit, and what do you get up to? Last <laughs> Tuesday. This is Thomas, and he says Mintolas are on his mind here, and it's really odd he says that because I had a pack of munchies, and I was trying to describe to my wife. Do you remember the munchies? But it was a green pack, and they were mint, and she was going after eights. Like, no, not after eights. <laughs> this exact, and it was Mintolas, wasn't it? Yeah, what's a Mintola? Nice. Yeah, I think he's so. just told you. Yeah, but now I'm worried it was it wasn't. <laughs> okay. So where would you go, Chris, and what would you do? Um, I would probably. I'm allowed to take my phone. Oh, well, it depends where you're going. It wouldn't work, would it? That's it. Well, I'd, 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 no, but I'm, no, I'm only if it's on full charge and the trip <laughs> takes like not that long. I'm thinking of my camera, like video. I'll go to. Yeah, I mean, it would still it? work, but then if you okay. went back in time and the technology didn't exist, would it would it cease to exist? Would okay, it just I'll blink go, out. I would go to the birth of Jesus Christ <laughs> and see if if anything happens and film it. And be like, <laughs> come back and go. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> you, you would take this opportunity just to, just to be so, completely clear to either prove or disprove a religion. Video evidence. <laughs> I think as as much damage as it could do. Just a it religion, also, not all of them. It would also. I could go to each conception. I of, don't think that's on the option. You get it for a day. I mean, you, well, hey, listen. All right. Okay. The late tenth century, um, England, and check out some uh, some Viking battles. Yeah. Sure. Adam? Well, you asked me. I'm no, just no, telling I, you. I didn't. Uh, Sorry I didn't if you don't you. think that's interesting. The, I'm a Jesus. funnel for the listeners' uh, proclivities, I guess. Yeah, all right. It's not about what I find interesting, mate. <laughs> uh, Second century BC, Egypt, a harem. And then just leave me there. Oh, good call. <sighs> Adam, anything less pervy? <laughs> uh, do you know what I have a, I have a fondness for? A brothel. For? No, Adam. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> uh, I have a fondness for. Um, oh, God. Hang on. Uh, 80s, 80s New York. I don't know what it is, but I like seeing like the yellow cabs in those kind of 80s movies and, you know, when steam is coming off the streets and stuff. Like the turtles. The turtles. Might I recommend, recommend the TV show Taxi? Taxi, yeah, with um, fake taxi. Video, wasn't it? no, not fake. <laughs> Fuck, not for Jesus. I, I don't know what that is. Sorry, but no, none of us know what that is. What I don't understand. I'm actually, quite surprised that Adam does. If I'm absolutely honest with you, Who um, so where are you going? There's Sorry, actually, New York. Do you know there's actually a guy around my town with a sticker of fake taxi on his 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 car bonnet? That's or shameful. Car but also, like, he's owning it, isn't he? Fair like, play. I bet disgrace. he gets all the action. <laughs> yeah. All for nine pound. What if these works from? No, let's move on. Uh, no. What? Where are you going? Uh, kind of I'm going to about five minutes ago and not asking this question. Eighties <laughs> um, New York, because to be honest, I feel like I'd be getting around. Like you, you lads are going to like medieval battles and shit. If I rocked up in the DeLorean in a battle, I'd be like, I'm stressed. Like I just wouldn't be able to handle it. They'd all so. think it was depending on what period of the eighties. They'd all think it was like a fake one, or because obviously Back to the Future was out in the eighties. No, I won't be stressed where I'm going. I'd like to go to the period of time where they More first created the relief. Pringle. The what? And shake where, where his hand. They first created the Pringle. I'd like to meet Mr. Pringle and go fair play led. And a teacher Hold called Mr. Pringle. Mr. Pringle has done it. He's you, you really, I cannot stop. I have popped and I cannot stop. It is just true words. And he, he, yeah, he married, well, he married an art teacher at school and that was the joke all the time. But once it, he popped. Really? That he popped and then couldn't stop. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Said it to him out outside of school once, when we all, and he he threatened me. <laughs> Did not ever do it again. I you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm I'm on his side. I think. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the delights of Paper Mario right now, and especially the sound effects and music. Which game for you? And jump in, anyone here? Which game for you achieves the perfect synergy of sound and action? I just see Larry. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> just... Jesus. Which Leisure Suit Larry had hey. Motley Cruise girls, girls, girls at the start? That was All classic. Of them. All of them, I expect. <laughs> how many? How many of those games exist? Lots. Oh, far too many. They Wasn't there one not recently? Games. Somehow there was one. I'm yeah, checking. They've been you making them since I was a kid, and they are still. I was going to say beating them off, but 
beating <laughs> that drum. Um, Imagine if that was like a PS5 launch title, a Leisure Suit Larry game. <laughs> no, I, I won't. <laughs> Come on, what, what games? What games? Perfect synergy. This is actually this is weird. I don't you because you guys talk about game soundtracks all the time, yeah. and like and I I genuinely don't often give a shit about the game soundtrack. Like I, oh, to the point where there's games that I just will just turn the music off because it's driving me up the wall, and I'd rather just listen to the sound effects and and it, you know what's going on. I don't really. I struggle to think of a game where I thought. I tell you what, I really like the soundtrack of the game, uh, "Flame in the Flood," mm, right? The soundtrack, soundtrack by Chuck Reagan, which I bought. I bought that CD after because I still have a CD player. I bought that CD after playing <laughs> "Flame in the Flood," and I still it's still in the car, and I still listen to it. I listened to it on the way home from work today, actually. So that that yeah. atmospheric, fantastic that soundtrack, um, perfect marriage. Can I just quickly go back to Larry there for a second? If you, right? re- if you, if you feel you have to. I have to really know because I'm absolutely like God's <laughs> here. So uh, there's 11 games, right? One came out last year. Do you know what it was called? Oh, uh, yeah, go slippery on. Slippery when... You're, you're getting close. It's something to do with wet, isn't it? Yeah. Wet dreams don't dry. That don't That's dry. It, yeah. Oh, fucking like, hell. That's there's real... Fine. <laughs> they do That's dry. Fine. It's all crusty. Please. <laughs> Don't make me edit this podcast. Like, Has anyone insane. got a game they want to talk about? That's <laughs> the sound I'm trying to, trying to drive this podcast. So we'll just I did. I changed the subject. I don't get <laughs> back to it. I know. I, like, I'm <laughs> astonished he took the opportunity to not. Last of Us, onwards. Part One, Fallout Three, Super Mario Odyssey, Near Autom- Automa- Automata, yeah. Near Tomatoes. Near tomatoes goes to sausages. <laughs> oh, oh, Red Dead, you know, the Red Dead Redemption soundtrack, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That bit, that's that. That is the first time I think I ever actually cried while playing a game. Was that bit at the end where you're riding a and girly mate, isn't it? And well, it, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> when <laughs> someone will, someone will have a girl at me for that. It's clearly a joke. <laughs> when they played uh, "Compass" by Jamie Jamie Liddell, Jamie Liddell or Jamie Liddell at the end, when when John's riding back to Abigail and that song comes on, oh man, that mm. that is perfect synergy gameplay music. That's fantastic. Sheep so there's an, an actual or answer. slip out. <laughs> Which one was that? Number six. Number six. So they got to the sixth one before they, they added right. slip to the subtitle. I'm going to play all these and re- do a retrospective on it all. I thought you were going to say and do an erection on them all. <laughs> I tell you what, no, I do remember no, Leisure Suit Larry being actually not that bad in terms Back of in the day, being I, yeah. point and click games. Like the actual really? puzzles and the gameplay, not yeah. actually that bad when at we all. Kids. When we were kids. Yeah. You can see I mean, which I mean, one playing, gives you like, the biggest erection. Well, right when you were playing them. Monkey so, Island and Simon the Sorcerer and things like that, and yeah, that, you know, I was Discworld. Yeah, oh, Discworld. Yeah, yeah. Cracking games. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? <laughs> um, a new law has been introduced, gentlemen, mm-hmm. and it means you must. This is a fucker of a question, and it's going to upset people. But it's, there's a new law been introduced that you must pledge allegiance to one and only one of the big three console makers. Sony. Fuck Xbox, Nintendo. Okay. For the rest of your life, you can only buy whatever they put out. As grim as that sounds, which one do you choose and why? I couldn't choose, I don't think. I'd really you struggle. Have to do. That's how this works. Okay, not Microsoft. <laughs> oh, man. They're just going to. We ain't getting any money hats off them, are we? And of course, that's why we're in this. <laughs> For the riches. Um, <laughs> Nintendo. I, I, I knew you'd say Nintendo. I, I think that's the. But what, 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 there's, a, there's a distinction in this question that's quite, you have to be careful here. You can only buy whatever they put out, so you're essentially buying Nintendo exclusives. Is, it, is, what, is what exclusives can you only ever play for the rest of your life? That wouldn't be a bad shout, though. You could live on Nintendo exclusives. Well, this I think. year, could you? Mm, I, see, though, you're going back to the question of missing out on things like God of War and Horizon, and I, don't, I couldn't trade those for See, see I'm going Nintendo Xbox. Exclusives. Really? Yeah, because that... The, the alternative is Nintendo put out like a first party game every few months I would say and one of them could be Smash Brothers one of them could be like a, a, a like um, what was that Heroes game um, no more Fire Heroes. Emblem Heroes something like that which I you know dra- exactly um, Sony are good for absolute corkers but we're talking for a year yeah um, yeah maybe whereas yeah. Xbox if I get Xbox then Game Pass is what they put out 
the loophole is Game Pass allows me to play loads of games. So, yeah, Game Pass. Mm. Chris, we didn't get yours. Oh, I was I was all going to say Sony until you and, pointed yeah. out the fact that they don't really put out like a few a year. I mean, what have they had? They've, you've had Iron Man, no, sausages. I pl- if I if I wasn't work like working at God is the Geek, I would pick Sony. Mm. Yeah, because I would take my time and just enjoy them and yeah, play them all. Yeah, because you can consume Sony like Sony exclusives in general. You can play those for. Fucking hours, like you can, yeah. can't you? You know what I mean. You say that I finished the Last of Us Part Two in less than a working week, less than five days. Yeah, but I take that as an exception to the rule a little bit because it's not that sort of game, is it? Like you it's a very much a story yeah, driven. Like it, mate. I'm telling you what I did. What happened, sorry. <laughs> I mean, you can take it any which way, but loose. Um, but no, but I'm saying you know that's more of a story driven so. game, isn't it? You don't yeah. go into the Last of Us and dick around with side quests, and well, some people wanted to get the collectible, but it's not the sort of game where you can go really off piste and just you know pet no, foxes fair. and. Sausages is. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. Okay. But, you know. I like your point now. Uh, Sony still. I'd still pick okay. Sony, I think. Okay, I understood. I would, I would be unhappy. I mean, it Sony, says as grim as it would Sony, be, I would be big time Sony. unhappy. The Game Pass is... Sony. Sony. Fine. Um, boss <laughs> battles. The question is, boss battles. This one I'm confused by, but I'm going to answer last because I slightly worry that I'm in the minority. Boss battles. Is it a time to collectively agree they are cheap, usually rubbish, and serve mostly to frustrate? They're like olives, which is to say our lives would be better without them. No. What does the team think? I don't agree. Okay. Mm. In, 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 a, in a very short sentence, no, I don't agree. Not... I, like, I like boss battles, usually, so, well, as a general rule. Here's the thing, though. Not in shocking other How, Can you name three games straight away, two games even, straight away with boss battles that you absolutely adored? Resident Evil 7. Excluding... The Souls and Bloodborne, just for now. Resident Evil 7, DMC okay. Devil May Cry, Gears Metal Gear Solid 1, Psycho Mantis, Sniper Wolf, yeah. Raven. The Last of Us Part 2. I love the boss fights in Ghost of Tsushima. The Last of Us Part 1. With um, the chap in the cabin. Paper Mario, the Origami King. Alright, lads. Yep, yep. You've Batman, Arkham, yourself. Asylum, oh. City... I'm just curious mm. because oh, you yeah, know, the Arkham uh, games, they, for sure. It is a fair point, though. Like, you know, it's you very rare. Fight, then. It's a very rare thing to hear somebody say this boss battle. I, you know, it's 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 not really a dis- Let I, me I, ask you a question, Adam. We do. abolish boss fights, but all boss fights from the past are gone. You have just lost Sephiroth. You have just lost the TV fight in DMC. Oh God. Hmm. I don't Countless want them gone. No, I don't want them gone. I just want shit ones to go away. Remember that one? <laughs> I'm with you on that. Like, do you know, like, there was that terrible one in Doom Eternal. All, um, all of them, you mean? It was, mm. it was a bad <laughs> boss. Do you know those kind of bosses? Though you're just like, oh, balls to this anyway. This is just, this is just crap. Doom Eternal came out this year. It did. I know. I keep, I keep referring to the time before lockdown as last year. It's just that well, my came brain. Out, is... It came out during Resident Evil yeah. Three. Do yeah. to, I'm trying to think. Final Fantasy Seven remake. Seven remake. These all came out. I played all these on lockdown while furloughed. I've got to play. Do you ever think though, like we're going to go off track here, but it's kind of mental, isn't it? Isn't it just? Mental oh, it's mental. That, like we have experienced the Last of Us Two, Final Fantasy, like these kind of games that you just. I think it still kind of blows my mind that Final Fantasy Seven happened. And, and, just... and has come and gone as quickly. I feel like yeah. I want to play that game again because the more I think about that, the more I'm like. Fucking Final Fantasy Seven. Exactly. It, Final like, Fantasy Seven. I waited yeah. twenty years. More. Yeah. More than twenty years. Yeah. And crazy. It, it, it was real. Like I in fact we were playing that one again pre release. It was like I kept thinking booting that up so it's like it's gonna load you're gonna click you know, you're gonna click the button on the PlayStation XMB and it's gonna load up when there's just gonna be a picture of that. <laughs> yeah. And it won't work at all and they and it's like, Yeah, you got me. But then there's like yeah. start playing and it's like, Yeah, but I played this bit of the demo, maybe this is all there is and then you get past the demo and you're like Ah, ah, mm. and that was all the noises I made. And then Chris, Chris, you showed out there that like uh, you said Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear. I think Metal mm. Gear is probably the one that like just just all of the them. worst one. All I agree. Them. Get rid of that one. Fuck like, off. Get no, the, get over go, it. No, no, I, I really love the just like fast forward in the game or whatever it is, changing the what? clock on you. Oh fuck off, man! You know, okay, sorry, I, wish that, I wish that fan behind you just exploded. <laughs> I tell you what, 
There was a yeah. game on the Mega Drive. It was like an X Men game. I can't remember what it was called, but there was there's a level where you get to the end and you have to re. It tells you to reset your play your, your Mega Drive on the screen, and then you press reset, and then it goes back into the next level. They were all about that before that. Hideo. No, no, sorry, Hideo is uh is, no, is, is no, the one. No. Um, what, you played Death Stranding again I, on PC. You're the sucker. I played yeah. it for 35 <laughs> minutes with Cheat Engine applied to allow no stamina. I don't. I think there's a difference. And I'm looking at that 60 gigabyte installation, going, I'm never gonna play you, am I? Anyway, well, this. I think we've answered this before. What was the one game that was so good that it temporarily ruined all other games for you? Mm. Um, this is from Thomas McKinnis. He says, I always long for the chilled out gameplay of Animal Crossing at the moment. Most other games feel stressful. I mean, it was God of War, that the, the biggest one that ever broke me. That yep. game felt so fucking insane. The Last of Us Part 2 did sort of do that. I didn't play anything after then for a little while. Um, it was a little lull because we got the game early, but like God of War was the genuinely the one where it's like, I remember it really, I could not motivate to play a game yep. it's just Same. so good i felt like yeah. i'd never feel anything in a game as good as that again i don't think yeah. i've <clears throat> i can't i don't think i've ever had thought i can't remember ever having a game do that but i but as you I know could, i do i could name yours well i do yeah and what, and what i mean is though it's i tend to Monster Larry, Hunter, yeah that's what i mean i tend to hook onto a game rather than have like i wouldn't say it's nice that you but, say hook when what you mean is be obsessed with yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that Monster Hunter World was better than God of War or anything like what that. You, you know, I, but for me personally, like I, I, me playing Monster Hunter World feels fucking perfect in my hands. I love it, and I and that game for a lot of, for the longest time, I didn't play anything else, and nothing. And even when I did play the things, I just wanted to go back and play some more Monster Hunter World, and it was the same for almost a year with Destiny Two. Just didn't play anything, but well, and Destiny. Because nothing else felt as nothing else gave me that that endorphin rush mm. like those games did. Mm. So I, I wouldn't necessarily argue with somebody and say Destiny Two is better than whatever. You know, it's all relative. Cool. But yeah, for me, yeah, though it's those Destiny, Destiny, and Monster Hunter World for sure. And before that, World of Warcraft once upon a time, which we don't talk oh, about. Yeah. No, never again. I think I will never, never touch that it. game again. Never ever. played it. Never played it at all. Oh. Never, My wife would divorce it. me. Yeah, I got, I got right pretty you bad. Um, I'd like to say that I, I, even after countless hours Breath of, after playing Breath of the Wild, mm. it, it, it did a thing where when I started moving on to play other stuff, it, it did this weird thing where I felt like I was cheating on it. It was like... It was like, <laughs> I was like, we want to end the world. I was like, I should, yeah, be, so, I should be... I grinding now. You, I'm so, so, I still love you so much. Yeah. Like, I hope you understand that. Turn the box oh, around on the shelf. Do you know what? I think Breath of the World did, did me as well because I reviewed mm. that while Chris, either just before or just after, you were reviewing Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep. And I was, I, do you remember like, Horizon Zero Dawn? I played about seven, eight hours of it. I was like, no, nah, it's not for me. Yeah, and then yeah. I came back to it like six months later and it was one of my favourite games, probably up there of all time. I 100%ed that game. Um, so, the longer I think about it, like why, why didn't it? What I think it was Breath of the Wild. I think Breath of the Wild just mm. took my breath away, so to speak. And and yeah, yeah, yeah. Great game. I love that game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any any other games? Anyone? Diablo three. That's another one that does it for me. The, it the, does. Yeah, I got bad with Diablo three. All right. You know, give me the grindathons all yeah. day long. Mm. I, I remember I'm when we win. When... Was it Reaper of Souls? Was that the expansion? Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember when that came out. Like, do you know, I did. I was one of those uh, Blizzard maniacs that would buy like the collector's edition to open and then buy a second one to keep it sealed. <laughs> I was doing that, like, and I had it with Reaper of Souls and stuff. But it's, there was, there was it's interesting, like Mick, you said about the grind. Like mm. Chris, we were talking on the on the stream for the Xbox thing. Is like that for me? The reason I think Halo got me excited is because it looked like Destiny, but without the bullshit, it looked like a single player game that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, Chris, I, I like the bullshit. Yeah, I know, I know. But Chris, like, I was gonna say any games you'd add, but I know, like, God of War did you? I, I can't, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, bar God of War, that God really War. like floored me in every I mean, way. I, Overwatch did me for a, for a while. I've just played Overwatch for a long, long while. Just, just Overwatch. Chris, can I ask? Uh, you just said God of War. Is God of War like in your head like 
like I know you just kind of said it, but like, would you consider that to be the best game you've played in like whatever length? Game of the generation. Know? Generation. Yeah, pretty maybe. much. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. like that ticks all the boxes for me. For you. It, it 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 was just perfect. Yeah. I, I I couldn't I could not fault anything. That's yeah. the only game I've ever played where I can't fault a single thing. And I I wasn't trying to, but you're always you're always worried about scoring something. Ten. I know it's not like the perfect game. Yeah, but you strive you kind for of balance like, in your critique, don't you? you? Yeah, you want to balance, and there was literally nothing. I, and that for me is the best game. I mean, oh, it's, not I of hate, all I hate to be of all time, but it's definitely what the it's best probably game. Probably in my PS4. top ten of all time. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Like, well, I hate to three, be maybe. and mm. say like you know, I know people would like to go us over the Last of Us Sony thing, but I, if I was thinking the games of this generation, and we'll do that pod. You know, that's 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 probably going to be a this year pod or maybe an early next year pod. Um, <sighs> Because there's a new generation coming out, mm. but like, I I would find it hard to move away from Bloodborne, Last of Us yeah. Part Two, and God of War. I couldn't agree on on the Last of Us 100, percent but the you're not all the way there to be fair. I, I'm is, not all the way there, I admit, but I, it hasn't gripped me like I thought, I hoped it would. But no, Bloodborne to it, mate, and then you. But yeah, exactly. If Ellie was fucking popping shiny. Yeah, you know, if bad guys were spewing fucking the, I don't know, bear's breastplate of fucking not good. uninfectedness, I'd be, I'd be there. <laughs> Plus ten to not getting bitten. Let's get on to this last question for this week. Um, engaged in a diehard Simon Says to do list to save the world. Who in the team takes on the following to appease the villain? Now, I believe what's happened here is there's. Some well, I'll do. Things. I know which one I'll do. Yeah, I reckon you're going to take the easy one there, the first one. No, so the, I hate oh. bounties. No, I would well, rather... I, don't, 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 don't ruin it, don't ruin it. So the first choice is... Piss glass. Eating... Eating <laughs> five... Five... Eating five... Right. Eating five bounty duos. Listening to Dance Monkey 30 times. I'm going to assume that means on the trot. Eating 25 olives drowned in ketchup or an Atari 2600 ET playthrough. My wife listens to Dance Monkey 35 times a day, so... Well, I appreciate oh you taking God. that hit on behalf of I'll myself. I'll take that one for the boys. No, I appreciate yeah. that. So, what's left? Well, I'm not Did doing you... the olives. Fuck you two. Yeah, you can fucking... you two is <laughs> chopping dead. some olives. <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> no, look, how, how about... <laughs> ketchup is the absolute worst. How about... So, Ad, does that mean you or I have got to eat the olives? What, what, what one? You're eating the, the olives, my man. I, am oh, sorry. Okay. I think the olives <laughs> is the worst. You know, I think the olives like, is probably the worst one. You would probably like olives, Ed, do you? No, I really oh, don't. Maybe the podcast. Oh, hang on. We literally do. <laughs> a, I forgot what I do in my spare time. I in a summer place. Where we rank foods, and you must remember where olives is. <laughs> I do indeed. I'm just yeah, so well, upset you, by everything. People want to know this. where the olives is. They're going to have to pay up because that's a premium podcast called Fork Off on GodIsGeek.com. No, it's not. It's on Patreon.com slash GodIsGeek. So there's, just to be clear, no one is eating the olives. It's on me to do that, and that's the Absolutely. kind of I'm I'm the boss. I fall on my sword. Down with the ship, fearless yeah. leader. Yeah, <laughs> Mick, do you not like olives? I don't fucking stand them. And there's nothing I can do. To <laughs> I tell you what, to I'll listen. I'll, I'll eat twelve and a half olives and listen to Dance Monkey th- fifteen times. <laughs> we'll we'll carry the burden, uh, right? No, no, we'll you st- can't. That's cheating. Do you know? Oh, the olives, olives are on you then. Okay. Today, I'll, right, I'll take the steak, A green olive, a half a green olive went. It went into my sandwich today by mistake, and I honestly like. Did you did you explosively? Poof, I'm still I'm still like. Kind Is of it still upset. on the wall of the lounge? Like, still, like I genuinely do have to say, like when it happened, like you know, it, it felt like that moment of do you know when a grenade goes off on in, in war and they get that. Ping. No. Well, like, you know, I've been to, I've been to many wars, like no, you know, like, it's one of those things, like, but like it's that kind of effect of just like. You just don't know what's going on, and I was just like kind of delusional for a second. And so, you just to be clear, you are definitely not eating the olives. No, nobody no, wants the olives. You're now. absolutely doing it. And no, I, okay, I think right, here yeah. what we have to do. So, Adam, you're agreeing to the olives, okay? Well, that, I'm agreeing in principle. Not really left with any get, choice. No, 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 I'm agreeing in principle, but I get the feeling what's about to happen is you and Chris are going to discuss. You actually quite like bounties, Adam, so you're just going to say, oh, I'll have the bounties and leave Chris with the gameplay through. I need fucking 50 of them for you. No yeah, <laughs> this, is what, this, is what, this is where I feel like I'm going, and I feel like that five, is that's not start. much of a sacrifice for you at all. <laughs> yeah, you'd that, eat no. a bounty trio. Do you remember those? What? <laughs> 
you, 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 you used to. Do you not remember? You get the Mars. It was it was Mars Duo and then Mars Trio, and it was Bounty Trio. And I do still alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Planet Candy. I'm yeah. on the Planet Candy website. Just type in Bounty Trio and, and anywhere, and you'll find it. So, Chris, how are you feeling about Atari? Um, uh, I'll play it. Oh, if small price to pay. Better than olives, isn't it? Better than twenty-five olives. olives in ketchup. Yeah, absolutely. I've eaten an olive once. I sat next to somebody. We were all having a drink years ago, and there was a bowl of olives between us. And this, I can't remember who it was. And she was a girl or a you woman. I don't her. remember now. No, I didn't punch her. Not that one. She was. <laughs> she was. That and might she have to was, go. <laughs> she was popping up. I, I don't go punch in, many of them. My, my mum was any, fucking asking for it. Of them. <laughs> she was, this girl, woman, lady, she Female. was eating, she was popping olives while she was drinking. We were both drinking and talking. And she, and you know oh, yeah. when you see somebody, oh, we were just sitting in a bar no, and there was a lot of us. Olives. No, eating. She was just chucking oh. them in. Like, there was a bowl of olives. But she was just, she was just oh. knocking them back and chewing I'm spitting the pips out and she was loving it. And you know when you see somebody eating like a bag of Maltesers or something, you think, I just want some Maltesers now. Well, I sat there for about an hour watching her eat these olives and thinking they look fucking lovely so what you're and saying so, is she was attractive i she they're all attractive all females are attractive no but you're the reason you want suddenly an olive is because she, <laughs> she made it look good yeah. yeah let's be honest i wanted to be that pip she, anyway oh so she she, out. <laughs> well she's got to get it in her mouth you, just, you, you drew me in to say exactly what i would never say that was professional i'll give you i'll grant you that that was Okay, but anyway, oh. she was. I didn't make this dirty. She was eating olives. This is the story. She was. She wasn't naked or anything. We were in a bar. There was other people there. She was eating olives, and I thought, you see, the story is a complete anticlimax now because basically I ate an olive and spat it out. But I that she made me want to eat olives because she looked. They, like, I find that people who like olives, fucking, you never hear anyone who's like, yeah, olives are all right. But it's like Marmite. They either really like olives or they can't stand them. Well, I just, I'm going to say this much. I take this as a great compliment because that you all have... You, remember, this is the fate of the world and you have faith that I will fucking chomp down... How many was it? 25 olives. It's the drowned in ketchup that gets me. I don't like olives, but I reckon I could just put a bit of water... In, and, um, oh. For those not watching, that's me slamming olives down my throat. Um, <laughs> but, but just like drowned in ketchup. Drowned in ketchup, so it's yeah, essentially like, someone squeezed like a bowl of ketchup. Mm. That's what I mean. They've like they've like two bowl, bottles of ketchup have been squeezed into a bowl. I actually think that's been worse. Stirred in. I think it's much worse. Yeah. But as I say, I'm taking it as great credit to me that you believe I'd do it and would achieve I, it for the fate of the world. I believe you would. Well, would you? Would you? You're a I fool, Mick Fraser. <laughs> a lovely fool, but I wouldn't. No, I'd say fuck them. I'm not eating no. the olives. No, I don't. It's not on me. What do you eat the olives? Eat them. We all know that I would eat the olives. I think I'd I'm interested to see what the the situation leading up to this moment would be. Like, why is it? Why is it the fate of the world on our four shoulders? Isn't imagine that. Though, imagine how fucked always. the world is. <laughs> yeah. imagine, imagine how much trouble they're in. Yeah, it's <laughs> a bad state. <laughs> it's not it's a bad state. It's a, I mean, it's in a pretty bad state now, but it must. Yeah, it makes you feel better about now, really, doesn't it? When you think of it like that, you know what? Especially, not all that the, bad, is it? especially when you get through the twenty-third olive and you just I can't do it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> boys. If you've done twenty-three. I always used to watch Man vs. Food. And I, think, it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. That's a good well, one of them going. I mean, he, he had to quit that Adam Richmond, I believe, didn't he? Because he did, it was, yeah. And he it was like load of waste. Yeah, yeah, surprised, it, it man. Well, yeah. I mean, now he's still guy doing it. Yeah, no, I think it's still going. Uh, yeah. But I used to watch that and think some, and like sometimes my wife would be sat there going. Jesus, and I'd be upset again. What sandwich with like the, you know, he's, he's, made, he's got a burger and he's, he's just put chips in it. So, yeah. I watched him do one with like where he had to eat like 30 di- hot dogs with different toppings. And I just sat there and I just thought, you know what? I'll have a go at that. I'll have a go at that, oh, right. Hot dog. I think anyway. one of my chocolate on and, you know. Yeah. What about oh, Dino's Dave's and Dave's? Do you Dave? watch that? Again? What, what? Do- no. Dave Freire, is that his name? Oh, the one with the, yeah, mm, no. Yeah. <laughs> he got Adam places. Richmond's the original, the OG gangster, mate. Yeah, mm. he, the OG, he always suffered. gangster, the original gangster, gangster. Yeah, okay. he always suffered with the hot wings. Remember that? He'd always go to like oh, some place though, with it? like the hottest hot wings ever. I always like that. He'd eat ten of them or something, and I was always oh, like, "Fucking hell, yeah, I'd love to go off that." Oh, same. But, like, I can't eat. I'd, like, I'd rather them be set celery sticks or something, though. Do you know, <laughs> just put the sauce on it. Just a bowl of sweet corn. Thirty oh, celery sticks with different toppings. I'd eat a bowl of sweet corn. 
I mean, they'll be I did horrendous today. the morning after. I can't I eat devil corn at all. Devil corn? It it yeah, if if well, it touches it my plate, it fucking <laughs> contaminates the plate. <laughs> that plate and that dinner, it, it well, tastes yeah. forever of sweet corn. So you don't like sweet corn? Shit, no way. Why? Oh, I, I just heard Adam's heart break. Damn it. <laughs> I oh, cannot that's... eat sweet corn. I can't do so, it. I've tried. So, I even did that order. thing when we had kids and they wouldn't eat them. And I was like, look, daddy eats sweet corn. And I got a, like a fork full of sweet corn. I thought, how bad can it be, sweet corn? I haven't eaten it for 20 years, but I'll try it. How bad is it? Had a little I, spoonful, sicked it straight back into yeah, the kid's big, face. Big fork full of sweet corn, literally <clears throat> out straight away. Kids went, well, I'm not eating that shit. Then. You, Dad, in the bed, you, your wife was well happy that day. Yeah, she was, she was impressed. That exact same thing happened to me, but it was a spoon of brown sauce <sighs> when I was small. And I just, like, my dad goes, try that there. And I just went <laughs> put it in. And, yeah. I don't think that's the way to try brown sauce, though. I mean, if you're oh, going to yeah. try brown sauce, put it on a bacon oh, roll or, 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 on a chip. or a stick of celery or he a chip. Also, he, he also just gave, a spoon of it. I've like said this before as well, maybe here. on the other pod, but he also gave me, like, um, raw black pudding. Oh, I think oh, it's going to oh. kill me. I'm going to put an end to this podcast. Um, that's enough. If you want more food talk, fork off. Uh, well done, Adam. Um, <laughs> Patreon.com slash God is a Geek. Um, fork off is a $5 food. tier, two a month, two episodes. Um, thank you, everyone, for being here. You can follow us on all the social media by following God is a Geek on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can go to YouTube and subscribe to us, which is maybe where you watch this podcast. And if you've just found it because of the old search engine optimization, then good on you. Hit the subscribe button and the bell button. If you're listening to us, maybe leave a little review on iTunes or thumbs up or whatever you do on Spotify. Wherever you are listening to us, know that we appreciate you greatly. And that's why we do this podcast. Mick, Adam and Chris, thank you ever so much for your time. Thanks and for having me. Thank you. Disgusting opinions on some things that someone will definitely not mention in the comments. Thank you, to listener, for being a listener and a viewer and everything else. And we will see you next week or whenever you choose to listen. Bye-bye for now. Mm-hmm.